right, this video is on factoring using the diamond and rectangle method. And I'm going to take numbers straight off the diamond and rectangle sheet uh, that we give out here at Ballard High School. So if you've got the sheet, this will work through the specific example that you're given when you try the box and diamond together. Why do we use the box and diamond? Well, if I asked you to factor this, if I asked you to factor, say, x squared plus 4x plus 4, this is relatively easy, uh, easy quadratic to factor because what you say is you say to yourself, I need two numbers that multiply to 4 and add to 4. And our numbers are 2, but more importantly for this exercise, the nice thing about having a leading coefficient of 1 here, the fact that it's just x squared, you know that your factors start off with simple x's. x times x equals x squared. And then you put in the 2's. And that's pretty straightforward. When it gets more difficult is if we do something like this, say 6x squared minus 2x minus 48. You can't just say to yourself, well, I need two numbers that multiply to 48 and add up to 2. That doesn't take into account the 6 and the role that it plays. Because what we know is that if we have a leading coefficient of 6, yes, you have x's here, but there has to be some form of coefficients happening here. It could be that you have a 6 here and a 1 here, or you could have a 1 here and a 6 here, right? But wait, there's even another possibility, right? It's possible that you could have a 2 here and a 3 here, or again, they could flip. And what you know is that you're going to have a positive and a negative here, but wait, how is this going to interact so that these two multiply and add to these two and you get a 48? You can see that it gets a little more complex here. You have a lot of choices as to how to make this work. The diamond procedure is intended to create a procedure where you can systematically approach this. And here we go. So let's start with our leading coefficient greater than 1 quadratic expression. So here we go. We're going to do it to 2x squared plus 1x minus 15. And I've specifically put a 1 in front of the x because you need to remember that indeed that 1 does have a coefficient. In the x has a coefficient of 1 in front of it. And that'll be important as we work our way through this. So in order to do this, you have to recognize the parts of a quadratic uh, equation when it's written in general form. And general form looks like this. General form says take the coefficient in front of the x squared. That's what we're calling a. The coefficient in front of x is b. And the constant is c. So in this case, my a is 2. My b is 1. My c is negative 15. And that's important because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build myself my diamond. And on the top, I'm going to put the product of a times c. Right. In this case, that's 2 times negative 15, or negative 30. On the bottom, I put my value for b. My value for b in this case is 1. And now what I do is I say to myself, I need two numbers that multiply negative 30 and add up to 1. So wait a minute. I'm going to have to come up with all the different factors of 30. What are the factors of 30? OK, 30 and 1. Nope, that's not the right one. 15 and 2. That doesn't get me to 1. 10 and 3. That doesn't get me to 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and 5. Hey, 6 and 5 works because if I put a 6 here and a negative 5 here, 6 times negative 5 is negative 30. 6 minus 5 is 1. All right, I've got a winner. Now what I do is I build my rectangle. When I build my rectangle, I know that this part of the t this term right here is going to go into this box right here. It's going to have a 2x squared here. And that this term here automatically goes in the bottom. Now what I do is I take these new found terms here, and I can put them in either one of these boxes. It doesn't matter at this point. So I put a 6x here and a negative 5x here. Now what I need to do is build the outside of this box. And when I build the outside of the box, those are my factors. So I know for a fact that there's going to be an x here and an x here. 
and one of them has to have a 2 in front of it. But which one? If I put a 2x here, I have to multiply 2x by something to get a negative 5x. And I don't really want to do that because that's going to be a non-integer value up here. Um, it would be what? 2 and a half? I don't want 2 and a half as part of my factoring. But if I put a 2 here, 2x times x is 2x squared, and 2x times 3 is 6x. All right, so what does it take to get a minus 5x here? Well, x times negative 5 gives me a minus 5x here. Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. And I've just found the factors of my equation. 2x minus 5 and x plus 3. And that's how the diamond method works. And what you should be able to do is if you multiply this through, if you FOIL it, you should be able to get back to your original equation, which is basically what the box is doing.